A little cloudy and chilly today. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. Two days in a row we're gonna be filming. Wow. If you haven't already, make sure you leave some comments below. I'm getting better at reading and writing and responding. So my Facebook page is still hacked. Hopefully we'll have that figured out soon. Super stressful. I don't even want to talk about it. Anyways, Maverick, we got her cleaned up mostly yesterday. Obviously it's not perfect, but uh, cleaner than she was before. So don't forget, always wash your whips. Hey, look who we got in here, Mr. Chris. How are you? I'm good, I'm here for Christmas. Here for Christmas. Are you here to clean this up? <laughs> uh, so FXR sent us uh, some stuff. You gonna open it? Yeah. I think this is yours, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a nice Ooh, little magazine. Coloring book. Hey, maybe there's a fold out of you. <laughs> uh, available. There you go. Wow. All right, pop this thing open. Look at you, a whole separate box just for you. Is that yours? Maverick. You know that might be Jay's. Well, let's open it up anyway. Take a peek at her. He's a medium too, right? Jay? Yeah. I feel like he'd be a small, small medium. medium. If you ever do any of these, order any of these um, mono suits, always go try one on first. I'm large in everything, but I'm a medium in the mono suit. So Chris thought he was an XL, but he's also a medium. So. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Look at that. That's fancy. Black. Keeping her black. Yeah. Nice black ops. Black ops. All right. Well, put her back in. Also, we have some windows for the Mavericks. So we're gonna throw those on real quick and a Kemi Moto door bag. So it's also a knee pad as well. So you don't smash your knees off the side because we're gonna put the windows in and then the back window and we're gonna have a full cab for the winter. So hopefully it will be warmer-ish. Is that yours? Figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's go uh, see if we can put these on real quick. All right, we got the Kamimoto door bags installed with the giant knee pad. That's really nice. All for left, I'm guessing. Boom. Good to go. Perfect. Now let's take this thing for a spin. Oh yeah, it's gotta be in park. I forgot. Morning. Let's go see what the river looks like. You ready to jump in the river? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I almost cleaned this thing pretty good yesterday. I was getting there. Sounds like I got grease it too. Got some squeaks. Part two of photo shoots. So yeah, like I was saying before, you gotta, all these companies we work with, obviously they need content for their pages too. They don't just send us stuff, so. Gotta keep, keep them happy, keep Chris happy, eh? Keep the ladies happy. <laughs> so we're just doing a few photos let me show you here so these are obviously unedited i edit everything in lightroom <laughs> the point and shoot a couple goodies so you might see these pop up on fin trail deep squats great shots there we go there we go look at these photos oh yeah you'll see those popping up on websites good thing i'm a professional see i set it to manual i don't put it on auto because I took photography. Smart, smart, smart. How's the water? Nice. You want to do a polar dip? No. It doesn't look as good. There's no snow here. There's like a tiny bit on shore way over there, but I think those are actually just rocks. All right, let's get the Maverick out of here. And uh, what should we do? Should we do the skip? Yeah. Skip and slip, or should we go jump a car? The only thing I don't like for skipping right now is when you come to shore, you can't tell where the rocks are. And I can't skip through the rapids because most of those rocks are showing. Yeah. See, last time this rock was completely underwater, so. Might just stick to the car stuff today. I know you want to see me skip. Sledding season. Sledding season. I know, we should have done it yesterday. The water was a tiny bit higher, but we'll get there. We'll get there, all in good time. All right, let's pull this Maverick out. Did you get the butt wet first? Yep. What's going on? <laughs> Get 
Give her. So I washed this thing already and we blew the lights off it, but turns out it was just a fuse. So if you can see in there, hold it up to the light. But yeah, that one is blown. And we're not sure if this one is blown. It kind of looks blown. Oh yeah, that one's definitely blown. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go see if the Hyundai has some. But yeah, we just popped that off. Not too bad. We lost a blue clip though. So we are in search of a blue clip that's probably on the floor. All right, let's go uh, play in the mud. Probably in the river. Yeah, true. Not bad out today. Definitely a lot nicer than yesterday. She was chilly and very breezy. So when we were doing photos yesterday, cold on the fingies. Anyways, I've been running these General Grabber AT tires now. And uh, we had our first snow with them and they worked absolutely amazing. Funny story, I drove home from Mitchell about 45 minutes. And I'm like, oh, better put it in four wheel drive. Anyways, I got, it was driving great, right? So I get home, go to put it back in two wheel drive. Turns out I didn't even put it in four wheel drive. I was in a two wheel the whole time. So it definitely worked amazing on snow. They're pretty bunged up right now with all the mud, but uh, yeah, they've been working amazing. So how about those boots? You got four wheel drive on those? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> all right, let's see what this uh, Hyundai's got. We haven't driven it in a little bit. We're gonna steal some fuses out of it for the Maverick and then uh, hopefully get those lights going again. So we haven't been, uh, haven't been in this thing in a while. I forgot we put speed holes in it, speed vents. We lost uh, a light somewhere, but yeah. Just run your hand along those. I hear it, uh, it's good for your skin. It's built for off-road this thing. Yeah, look at those. <laughs> All right, is our tire flat again? That one looks fine. Oh, not too bad. I brought the air compressor down for no reason. All right, let's see if uh, we need the NOCO or the compressor. And we get in the side fuse panel. Don't break the key. We just gotta make sure it still <laughs> runs after. Someone took all the fuses. <laughs> Those damn McKechnies, eh? Just stripping everything out. That's not it. Guess we gotta pop the, pop the hood. Where's the hood popping thingy? I'm surprised they don't have an inside one too, though. It's a Hyundai. Oh, you got up underneath. Fuses right here. Oh, I found the fuses are right up underneath. Oh, yeah. Right where this fuse cover is. <laughs> well, these are all minis. Who would have thought? Right? Lots of tens in there, though. We need a ten. Hey, will this start? Come on! Oh, yeah! Woo! Look at this owner's manual. This is the biggest thing I've ever seen. Like, even the Ford ones don't come that big. It's probably out of fuel. We're out of power too. That's weird. I may have overheated it. I thought these these uh, vents were supposed to help. It's <laughs> a lot of work went into them. Yeah. If they don't work. 
They don't work. How are they supposed to work? I don't think it had anything to do with the fuse. <laughs> <laughs> Was it my awesome driving skills? Maybe. Uh, well, let's grab the Noco and get her going again. I don't know why she died. Anytime I don't bring the Noco with me, things die. And anytime I bring it, it runs perfect. All right. I still love how they put the battery under the air intake here. That's smart. What's your prognosis, doctor? I think she got one last uh, hurrah in there. One last hurrah? I think she's got many hurrahs left. It's got to last. She's all wheel drive. All right, give her a whirl. See what she says. At 12 volts. Oh, yeah. But if I take this off, will it stay running? Huh? Last time, whatever it was. You know what? It's because I turned the seat heater on. That's why <laughs> things just shot right off. Need luxury. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, I wonder if the battery's just dead. If the alternator's gone, should, it must be the alternator gone because you don't need the battery once it's running. <laughs> so what we're gonna have to do is basically run booster cables, which I don't have down here. To this thing? Yeah. Or we just leave that in there, slam it under the hood, <laughs> seal her up. <laughs> you want to pop the hood? Yeah, Timmy's card. Yeah. You think, it's just, Timmy. think there's still anything on it? <laughs> By the condition of this vehicle, I'm gonna say hard no. There's a couple cents on it. If anyone wants to copy that pin and try and use this, give her. <laughs> uh, all right, here's our plan. We're gonna run the NoCo. We're gonna waterproof it with this floor mat, so that's like that. And then we're going to go through the puddle a million miles an hour. Ingenious. Thoughts? Yeah. All right. Don't slam my hand in there. <laughs> okay. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to stay down? There. It's locked. Locked enough? Yep. All right. Let's do this. Does it move? No, it does when I floor it. All right, bring Fuse, I'm gonna laugh so hard. It's not the fuse. Hey. The fuse is for your tail lights. You never know. Maybe the tail lights are all linked in somehow. All right. To the accelerator. Here's let's, your fuse back. Let's throw it back in and see if it works. Then we can borrow it after. Should have took the airbag fuse out. <laughs> this will be hilarious there we go. if it does work. Now your tail lights work. Perfect. It's gonna be a yes or no, Chris. It's a uh, maybe. We're on to put a Tim's card on it. <laughs> oh! Give me a break. Tail light fuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. You probably don't even need that anymore. Why? Actually, yeah, true. Because <laughs> it started right up when we got here. True. Good to go. It needs a tail light. The one fuse you pulled. It probably wasn't a tail light fuse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Chris, my guess. Apparently Chris can't read. Well, <laughs> it's a convoluted map. <laughs> All right, let's get this done with quick. <laughs> You're setting me up here. <laughs> I think it's a cross between the fuse and a dead battery. 
You gotta have the fuse in guess. there still? Yeah, we still need that fuse. The Maverick can't have it yet. Alright. Hopefully this is waterproof. That looks good, eh? Looks great. Alright, see what she's got. Fingers crossed. Done fast. Anything for the camera, right? Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all of a sudden it started going sideways. I'm like, you know what? I must just keep sending it here. And it went halfway up this car ramp. The airbags would have saved you. Oh, yeah. Right, should we do a little backwards jump? Yep. I'm going to lower the seat so I don't whack my head. Did you take the, the seat power, power seat thing out? Dude? <laughs> you need that fuse too? All right, hop in. Let's go over there and find a nice jump jump. Big hunk of metal in the back seat, I think. <laughs> it hit you in the back of the head? No, it blew the back window out. <laughs> no way, I didn't even see that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I never even noticed. I think it was the tire. I feel like it actually flew out. Let's go have Something a look. went through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There, it's your jack. Oh, it's a jack. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that could have been dangerous. You know, always check your back seat. That's a good safety reminder. But you know what? That just means we have to do it again. <laughs> Maybe we'll hide it a little better this time. And I gotta go faster. Yeah. Hard to get grip. More air. Yeah. I got my safety squints on. <laughs> Try the rear wiper blade when you get in. You know what, maybe I'll leave this with you. <laughs> we'll just put this right here. Just remember, we gotta get it on the way back. In case we need it. Is it working? It works great. It looks pretty clean It doesn't there. even squeak, eh? I can actually see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, try this again. That was a good sound. Uh, you all right, buddy? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> How the fuck are you getting out? I don't know. I might come out the back door. Oh, my God. Don't worry. My seatbelt was on. I just took it off. <laughs> oh my God. What's up, guys? <laughs> so remember when we said take the airbag out? Yeah. I'm glad it was there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is this back door still open? Uh, let's see. Hey <laughs> oh, How often does that happen? That's my second time. I knew coming up the jump, I was like, shit, I'm gonna miss the landing. <laughs> and look what I did. Wider ramps. Oh, let me tell you, those airbags are loud as shit. <laughs> my ears are ringing. They didn't even hit me though. Look at the curtain all down the whole side. Yeah, just just the side ones. Jeez. 
Jeez. Gunpowder everywhere. Yeah, whoops. Hey, at least the McKechnies will be happy. <laughs> I uh, taught their vehicle well, and you got a video. I hope you recorded this. <laughs> yeah, I've Brad recorded it. Brad always forgets to record. <laughs> I got <Yeah>. it. <laughs> yeah, so I started coming out. I was coming straight. Then it was kind of coming sideways. And I'm like, I can straighten up. In the and air. All of a sudden, it hit. I was like, I'm not straightening up. <laughs> oh, man. Huh. Wider ramps. Did I scare you? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, then I heard a woohoo, and I was like, that's a good sound. <laughs> well, I land on the, as soon as I land on the side, it must have a roll mechanism. Yeah. That's when the airbags went off. And I was like, oh, this thing's going to keep going. And like, I just keep freaking, I keep rolling. I'm like, oh, great. And then when you're on, the, when you're upside down, it's so hard to take your seatbelt off because all your weight's on your seatbelt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see those, see the tracks there. See, I had the nice little, where's my hand? I had the nice yeah. little left, right. Yeah. I thought it was going to straighten it. You tried to correct. And then I was like, you know what? Let's just commit to this and, <laughs> and see what happens. So, <laughs> Was it a good jump at least? It was, uh, yeah. It was a good landing. Good. That's for sure. <laughs> I stuck the landing. <laughs> well, I guess we got to get the Ford over here now and, uh, and roll it back over. I don't have my tow rope, but I have some straps. Let's Man. try it. So that was the second time airbags have ever gone off in my life. I'm, you know what happened? We jinxed it. Remember, we were talking about this. You, you freaking jinxed it, crap. You wanted that fuse back in. It was probably the airbag fuse. Yeah, I guess we can have the fuse back now. I think this thing's. Actually, she'll be fine as soon as we roll back over. Yeah. All right. They let's build do them it. tough. Straighten it up a little bit. Hook two onto it. One onto the back and maybe it'll roll better. Yeah, true. So usually I hook in the middle of the frame, but you can't get under this frame, of course, so. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll just grab another one. Then that's what, like 20,000 pounds we're reading? Yeah, at? that's right. Good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it took the jack out too, eh? Yeah. I secretly knew. <laughs> It was your plan the whole time. <laughs> this whole time. Come here. Usually I have a, a yank em rope, but I take out of my, all my stuff out of my truck in the winter for some reason. It's at home? So we're just using little Princess Auto straps. Erickson. Good stuff. Erickson. Sweet. In nice. Theory, <laughs> I should have only done it halfway. You know, oh, so we can get our straps <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, All right, good work. Yeah, brainstorm time. So damage report here. You might as well come over and see this. We had the curtains go off. We had the side ones go off. You can. Take a peek in there. <laughs> wow. And then yeah, the only little injury was a little piece of glass went in my hand when I when I lifted myself up. So <laughs> Should I try her again? Yeah. <laughs> She's smoking. Over there, you can drive the truck. All right, I'll race you. What uh, good old burnt oil smells like? 
Look at it coming out of there. That's its 400k service right there. <laughs> Done. Yeah, I'll send uh, the McKechnie's the invoice. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you over at the, the yard. That's all the oil she's got. Yeah, that's how these hand guys, that's how you cool them down too. You want to hold them wide open and then just shut them off mid wide open. So <laughs> our next issue is then we have the no co back. That hurt. Ouch. <laughs> Will the Hyundai. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at this. Brand new, eh? It's not thinner. <laughs> no. I have destroyed a couple of them before, but not today. She's still good to go too. Nice. Hey? Let's throw it on something else. Barely even got dirty. Good floor mats too. Yeah. Hey, thank God for that floor mat. <laughs> oh. Well. Yeah, great, great spot to throw that. <laughs> Let's hope it lights on fire. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely did not mean to do that, but you know, that's the way of the world and the way uh, things happen down here at the compound. You, you shoot for one idea and it goes complete opposite of your plan, but. Uh, Either way, it's interesting. So thank you guys for watching again. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Follow Chris on Instagram. And we'll see you guys later.